I'm Dan Anderson. I'm in my armadillo backpack trailer that I picked up last week from Armstrong, British Columbia. It's a rainy day, so I decided it's a good time to um, upgrade one of my lights. I I need a USB connection. Uh, there's there's one by the entrance of the door, but I also need one um, um, where the dinette and, and bed areas are. So. Um, I could tunnel and add a new port. I could tunnel the wires and add a new port, but that's too destructive and too much time. So what I'm just going to be doing is just changing the light, which works perfectly fine. I'm going to change the light to a light that has both a light and a USB at the same place. So um, that seems to me the easiest way to, to do it. So the steps I'm going to be taking is, is first... You verify you have 12 volt DC. You don't want um, 24 or 48 volt or higher, and you don't want AC. There's probably other lights that are that support that, but this this tw supports um, 12 volt DC. So once you verified that, next you remove the old light, then you put in a new light, and finally you test to see that the light works and that the DC at the USB connection works. So let's start. Um, next, I'll explain the diagram here, the wiring diagram. So this is the light that I or ordered. This is, um, I got this off Amazon. And I'll show you the link. You can also order it um, from the distributor, which is RV light. Dot net. Um, this is made in Vietnam and distributed by a Chinese company. Uh, it's 12 volt DC. Comes with a light here. A switch. But best of all, it has um, USB. It's a high speed USB charger, 5 volts and 2.4 amps, which um, to charge most things you have. And then you get um, some free screws and wiring. So they mark the black and white wiring here with the black there is shown as positive right there. And the white wire is shown as negative. And then you connect that to the trailer, which has red as positive and black as negative, as I said earlier. And it comes with instructions in French or English. Uh, the spec sheet, it doesn't go into details about the specifications, but you can get that off um, rvlight.net, and I'll have a link in the description. Not only link to the light bulb where you could buy it, but also the spec sheet and everything, um, and I would print that out. So let's get started first. The next step would be removing the light. So here's the back of my trailer and here's the light. As I said before, it works perfect. On off switch. Uh, but we need to take it out. Let's turn it off. Take it out first. What you do is you grab the plastic and just gently slide it off. And you see the LED unit, unit there and it's secured with four screws there. Let's see, it looks like it's a square shaped screw. So I'm gonna have to get um, the proper screwdriver for that. So I'll go out and do that next here. So I found a bit here. It's a square shaped bit. The writing on the side says S2. It's S2 bit. So you can see that. S S2. So let's put it on the screwdriver. And take it off.
So continuing, we're down to the last the four screws. And let's see, what do we have? We have a black and white wire connected to a red, it looks like a red and white wire. So we'll just connect the new white wire Let's see. We'll connect the new white wire to the white and we'll connect the black to the red there. Take these off. They're crimped on. So let's see. I need. See, I need to take them off and turn off the camera here just because I only have two hands. So rather than. Um, take off the crimps here because the wire is very short. I decided to cut the wire on the on the light side just so I have some spare wire. I'm going to connect this with these waggle connectors here. They just snap on. These are very popular in Europe, but you could also find them U.S. and Canada. And they just clamp on for both the black and white wire side for both sides. And it's a secure connection. Um, this is used in both 12 and uh, 120 volt applications here. So I'll just snap this on and we'll see if it works. So I have one waggle connection here. And I'll try to show you how to do the other one. Um, it's hard to do, but you see it comes, the waggle connection comes with two levers. Got to get it focused on that somehow. Comes with two levers. You pr pull up and push down and just snap down on the wire. So let's see if we show it to you here. Insert the wire all the way in. Don't drop it. Insert the wire. Press that down. Oops. It's easier to do with two hands. Insert the other wire. Press that down. So we have all wired up. Let's see if it works. It does not work. Okay, I have it now connected up with the waggle connectors, white to white and black to black. So again, the, the white is negative, black is positive. And the problem I had before was um, I this I forgot the switch doesn't the switch doesn't turn off the indoor light switch does not turn off this particular light. So when I was cutting wires, I blew the 15 amp fuse in the fuse box, which is um, on the other side. Here's what the fuse looks like. You can see it's blown because the wire there is separated. So I just used another 15 amp fuse. These are easily replaceable at an auto supply store. So let's turn around and turn the light on and it works. Okay, let's see if the if the charger works. Well, I I connected up the USB connection. I can't show you the other end because I'm using the phone as a camera, but I'm charging it right now. And the charge is working even with the light on or off. So the charger does not depend on the, the light switch there. The next thing to do is to neatly um, reconnect the lamp to the ceiling here with those screws. I'm again going to have to um, do that without 
the camera because I only have two hands. Okay, now I have three of the four screws in. The one, one on the, the near side that I use exist, the existing holes, but these two on the far side are a little bit uh, longer than that old lamp, so they required new holes, but you could, didn't need to drill. I just um, screwed them in with a little bit more force. So finally, this is this last screw screwing in with this square shaped bit. I'm using the same screws as before, just to be consistent here. But anyway, there it is. Still works. And it's still, let's see it. I'm going to do the same for the other lamp over there. And also, I just want to point out the fuse box, which is uh, to the left and below the sink, underneath the, 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 the seat table for four. There's um, the the AC system on the left, that's a 30 and 15 amp. The 30 is the main switch and the 15 is for the outlets, GFCI outlets. On the right is the fuses for the 12 volt system. So I just cannibalized the, one of the light circuits at the top. And you can see that the fuse is um, broken. See the middle there? You see the broken wire at the middle of the fuse there. That tells us it's it, it tripped. So I'm going to go buy and buy some more fuses. I'm going to buy also some spare ones and just put them in unused slots. So I have plenty there in case another one blows. So that's it for this project. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.